was, was great um, just to kind of get good um, 90 minutes under our belt and you know it's going it's, it's just going really well and we always have um, a really good time when we're together and it's brilliant to see it, all the, the faces and some of the new faces that's come in and you know as always we have that that experience and a new setup and yeah we're all gentle well. I saw some photos on Instagram, plenty of smiling faces and uh, definitely looks like a happy camp. And we've spoken so often about the energy in this squad. Yeah, like, I mean, the staff and the players, it's, it's all, I mean, you always do well when you're when you're having a good time and um, we, we'd be serious when we need to be and um, when we need to knuckle down and get our heads down, obviously in training on the, on the pitch and um, in our meetings and stuff, but we, we don't forget that, yeah, we have a great um, setup and a great just team atmosphere. And yeah, we just, we do enjoy each other's company. And yeah, it's just great to be in and, and great to be here. How big is this game against England, Marissa? And how big is it in the preparation ahead of the playoffs? I think it's um, it's amazing that we've nailed down um, the England game. Obviously, the, the big matches are, are April in the playoffs and what better team to play and one of the best teams in the world to, to prepare us for that. Um, just, I mean, one of the teams we could get is, is Switzerland again, which is a, a top, top team. So we need to, we need to play the best. If we, if we want to qualify for, for European um, championship, we need to play the best and, and see how we can, you know, how we can game. And yeah, we'll be as prepared as, as we can and we'll take on the challenge and we know it's going to be really tough and we know the, the caliber players are and, they're a fantastic, fantastic team. And yeah, we'll just relish the, the opportunity and we look forward to it. First game against England in almost 13 years. Marissa, for you personally, what, what does this game represent? Does it represent how far the squad has come, how far the team has come in recent years? Yeah, it absolutely has. I mean, the fact that, um, you know, England obviously want to be challenged as well. And the fact that they've took us on um, as one of the first games I know they haven't played in, in probably over a year. Um, so I think that's it's testament to, to how well we've done and how well the coaching staff has done and how well the players have done, you know, leading up to it. And um, yeah, we'll be out and, and the staff's going to have us... Um, prepared in terms of um, how they play and how, how we play against them and you know we'll keep, we'll keep our style and we'll, we'll go in confident and we'll do what we can to, to give them the best game and yeah it'll be um, yeah it'll be good. Just on that note of style we talked before about how the style has changed and playing out from the back and that build up playing having confidence on the ball do you think against a team like England that's something that you will be keen to keep and uh, you know that style of play that has evolved in recent years well, yeah we um kenny and the staffs obviously come in and we now have a style when we, where we didn't before and um will not change our style in terms of ball retention and, and and how we do that um we obviously we know we're realistic in terms of um we need to make sure we're keeping it tight and stop them from playing but again we'll We'll look at them and, and we'll basically we'll set up in, in terms of what how we get the best out of our players and how we can get the best out of the team and yeah um how we can challenge them as much as we can and, and we'll be ready what are you expecting from them marissa and is there anyone on that england side that you particularly are not watching out for well if you look at i mean if they look at their squad like they're i mean they've got a, a experience in youth as well. I mean, young Ella who, who plays for Manchester United, I uh, will follow United myself and she's a fantastic player, a lot of speed. And I think, I mean, that's one of the younger players and the likes of um, the City players and Chloe Kelly and Lucy Bronze, they play against it or they play with each other, sorry, we can wake out and, you know, they have a really good partnership there. Um, so we expect a lot of, a lot of speed and um, we know that it's going to be fantastic on the ball and, they're going to create opportunities and they're going to come at us. But um, again, we, we've we come a, a long way in the last couple of years and yeah, we'll be prepared for it. And listen, the players will be up for it. There's no better game to play than, than England. I mean, they're one of the top, top teams and yeah, we'll, we'll give it everything. In terms of the playoffs, April seemed a long way off at the start of December, but here we are, you know, it's just coming at us, you know, very quickly. I'm sure the, the adrenaline's already starting to pump a little. 
Yeah, it has. Like we we haven't stopped. We like we've been, um, as you know, we've been training really hard at home. Um, obviously, we have a lot of home based players, um, and we're in together and we're working hard. And the improvement has been massive, like from every single player. And there's so much confidence, um, both in, individually and collectively. And we're just going to take those that confidence into the game. And and after England, then the, the, obviously the next big games is um, the playoffs. So. It's just been just an exciting time to be involved in it. And the girls are just doing what they can to make sure they're ready for, for April. A couple of young faces have joined up. Maddie and Ella have, have come in uh, for the first call up. And a few players returning to the squad. I know John's daddy, Ella, shouted out to you on Twitter to look after. Have you been looking after the, the young ones? Yeah, of course. Like I just think it's amazing that these young ones are given these opportunities. And it's been a big thing that Kenny's took on when, when he came come into the post you know he wants to um make sure that the the younger players are ready and they're getting as much experience as they can and I mean obviously Ellen and, and Maddie are young 16 17 year old girls but you know they deserve to be here um they've been working so hard with us um at home and young Ella hasn't looked out of place and I just I know she she's here and she's just taking it all in and she's up I mean you've seen her interview it actually made me emotional emotional um reading it because it just shows like what it means to her, you know, and we're all the same. Like it means so much to be part of the squad and we're all, we, we do feel so lucky um, to be here and it's just an amazing time to be part of it. And hopefully we can, we can go and make his, uh, more history in, in April. Thank you, Marissa. Thanks. Thanks thank you. Good luck. Marissa, if I can, can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Hi, 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 you're all right. I, I, you said it's an exciting time. I mean, you've been around for a few years that long um but um isn't it incredible what's happening at the moment uh with northern ireland um yeah like it's a, it's a, it's brilliant what's happening um i was just talking earlier you know everything's almost came together at a really good time um we have the, the association all the clubs have been working really hard the last kind of five ten years to to not only build their senior team but to build the, the academies under that and with our Girls Excellence Program and our Shooting Stars Program. And, you know, so much happening um, within the game um, from grassroots level right through. And, um, I mean, we, the association just nailed down the, the Playmakers Program as well, which will be going out to um, schools and, and community groups and stuff. So, so much has been happening that, um, yeah, the awareness has improved. We have really, really good players. We have really good young players just coming through and, I mean, with, with Electric Ireland coming on board a, f a few years ago, it's just really built it up and, and built it up. And, and lucky enough, um, Canny's come in at a good time. And and obviously the, the team's done so well. And yeah, we've started to create um, role models for the younger players. And hopefully that'll inspire them to, to want to be part of the, the team and want to wear a great shirt one day. I know it's not the, the biggest match over the next few weeks, but... Um... Uh, massive England away. Uh, how good would it be to get a win at the heart of English football? Yeah, like I mean, the main, the, our, as you said, the main games that we're we're looking for looking for it's the playoffs. I mean, they're the the holy grail, and having England um, to prepare for that is unreal. Um, we know that we could get one of the top top teams like Switzerland or or Finland or you know, and um, Portugal. And I mean, you have to play the best. It, to, to get a result against the best. So we'll go into the England game and very prepared and we'll have a game plan and, and we'll give them a, a, a big challenge. And um, hopefully at the end of it, 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 yeah, it's a good game to watch for, for everyone at home. There, there was a time then that you would be shaking in your boots for this game. You're not, you, there's confidence about the camp for this and for the playoffs. Yeah, like we know, we know the caliber player, players that we're playing against. Um, I mean, we we watch the WSL on a weekly basis, and we know um, the standard we're up against. But you know, the girls have been working hard. The girls are full of confidence. Um, you know, and yeah, we'll be prepared. Um, we'll go in and we'll, we'll take on the challenge. And I mean, we're excited and we can't wait, and we look forward to it. Thank you. Thanks, Pete. Thank you. Emma, are you with us from UTV? Hello, yes. Um, Marissa, I think they've kind of covered most things there. I just wanted to ask you kind of on a personal level, I know you got your first cap in 2010, so you've been there throughout like the whole journey to the point where we've got to a playoff. Um, how would you describe kind of the journey of women's football 
um, you've had a, a front row seat for the development of it. So how do you see its kind of progression over the past decade? The progression has been has been amazing. Like obviously when we were younger, we didn't have opportunities. Um, what there is now, like we, I was I, I was lucky to get a girls team. There was no female teams around where, where I lived and stuff. There was very little um, girls teams and, and now there's teams everywhere and we're, we're working so hard. I obviously work for the Irish Football Association and we're working so hard to make sure that we can create opportunity for, for every young girl and, and that starts at the, the grassroots level and um, yeah, the opportunities are there and no matter where you live in Northern Ireland, there, there's a chance to play football. And I think that's an important thing. And I mean, the, the awareness has been created um, through the Electric Ireland um, programme. Again, I mean, we had a billboard um, programme a few years ago. Um, and it just, it just, I thought it was amazing because it showed the pathway of what we have. It was a young shooting star right up to a senior international player. And it was the one in between. We've got um, leagues throughout from... If you're five, you can go and play in a, in a weekly league. And obviously, as a senior player, you can play in the Niffle League or, or the NIWFA League. And yeah, it's just it's just been amazing progress. Um, and I'm obviously delighted to be part of it and delighted to still be here. And um, hopefully, um, after my career, continue continue um, being part of it and, in terms of um, coaching and, and developing programmes and stuff. Is it something that you're aware of going into the, the playoff? Because to get through to Euros um, would really inspire the next generation to get involved. I think that's a massive um, incentive for a lot of us. Like, it's one thing that I, I tell myself, you know, if we can do this, like we're doing it for all the young girls. And I mean, after that game, when we, we obviously got through to the playoffs, it was for them young girls because we need more and more girls playing um, the game and, and the country. And if we can get more girls playing, then our, our leagues will strengthen and then the national team will strengthen. And it's just going to be, you know, it'll improve the whole system. So, yeah, if, uh, it's going to be a massive, massive boost, boost for the game if we can get through. And yeah, it's, it'll be a massive incentive for us all. That's perfect, Marissa. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Emma. Anybody else from broadcast? Nope, and on to the writtens. Guys, we'll get that to you as soon as we can, probably in the next 20 minutes, okay? Thank you. Cheers, Marissa. Thanks, Dan.